work? Yes. 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 My wife has muted me many times in my life, so I'm muted now. My voice is going tonight, but thank you tonight. This is a, indeed a pleasure. Just a little background. Okay. My two minutes have not started yet. <laughs> Can we restart? Okay, but it went off again. But anyway, uh, um, just a little bit about my background. I was raised by my grandmother in an area that was replete with drugs, gangs, and violence. My grandmother, she was a very special person. She couldn't read, she couldn't write. She taught me the American dream. And that American dream was that if you work hard enough, you could be whatever you wanted to be. And I graduated from Georgetown University's law school. She was so proud because that was the American dream. When I worked as a special assistant to President George H.W. Bush, to her, that was the American dream. When I was unanimously confirmed by the United States Senate as an Assistant Secretary of Agriculture, to her, that was the American dream. When I served as the mayor of the great town of Paradise Valley, she was still alive, and to her, that was the American dream. It was the, it was the American dream because she always told me that she wanted me to do a lot better than what she had. And I have an 18-year-old son. He's graduating from high school. And he does not have, I believe, the American dream in front of him right now. We have a president who, quite frankly, has increased our debt by $5 trillion in three and a half years. And guess who has to pay for that? My son, his generation. We have a president who has said that we want the highest corporate income tax in the world. But guess who has to pay for this? My son. I am running for the United States Congress to restore the American dream, to make sure that my son has, that my son would have a greater opportunity than that I have. Thank you. I'm Wendy Rogers. I'm the Senior environment, predictable tax environment, and get out of the way. 
Let the private sector create jobs and create wealth. Canada is one of the strongest economic bases, the most, and one of the highest per capita incomes in the state. It's not an accident. In the uh, 1980, Canada's population was less than 20,000 as a farming community. Today, it's almost a quarter million people. One of the high tech cities that people look at to model other development sector, other development cities. One thing that I think brought Chandler to this place, this place today of success, the strong leadership, fiscal responsibility, and they engaged the private sector. During my two terms in the Chandler City Council, we lost every budget, we had cash reserves, we even lowered taxes. These budgets ranged from half a billion dollars in the late 90s to about 1.2 billion dollars in 2008, 2007, 2008. The last uh, budget I was, I was able to take part of. But I'm still proud of that Chandler's leadership continues to engage the private sector. I'm happy to be part of this successful. I thank you for the discussion. I'm Travis Grantham. It's an honor and privilege to be here. I want to thank the Chamber, Chandler, Chamber, I thought I was going to do that. Chamber of Commerce for hosting us tonight. It's great to be in a room with job creators for a change. We're, we're usually with all the political activists, which is great too, but to be in a room with people who are affected by what's going on directly in this country is good. I'm a third generation Arizonan, I'm a husband and a father, I'm a business owner, and I'm a National Guard pilot. I'm a captain and an officer in the Arizona Air Guard. I, I fly a KC-135 <coughs> Phoenix Air Guard, the 161st Air Refueling Point. We all have a great story to tell, and I commend everybody up here for their service and their gratitude and the hard work they're putting into this process. But the reality of why I'm running is because of the record debt this country faces today. We are $16 trillion in debt, a number that eclipses our entire GDP for one year in this country. We're spending 6%, we're spending 40% more than we take in, and our debt grows at 6% per year. We have a stagnant economy. What are we going to do to fix it? You all know, as business owners as I know, that the federal government today has its hands in way too many things in our economy. It tells us how to operate our business and how to operate and hire our employees. It has to stop. We have to step, stop the process in this government of fraud, waste, and abuse. Baseline budgeting needs to come to an end in our federal government. We face a bureaucratic nightmare today that is strangling our economy. It's stopping job creators from doing what they do best, people in this room from performing, and growing their small businesses. We must send principal leaders back to Washington to fight for everybody who's in this room. If I'm privileged enough to go to DC on your behalf, that's what I'll do. Thanks. Hi, <clears throat> my name is Jeff Thompson, and I'd also like to thank the <coughs> Chandler Chamber of Commerce and all the sponsors for putting this event on. I'd like to thank all of you for coming out and spending some of your time to try to realize who are the best candidates. I've lived here 31 years in Alatuki. Been married 36 years, raised three children out there. They're all grown adults now, responsible members of the uh, community. I'm retired. I'm not a politician. I'm a retired businessman. I retired seven years ago from the financial world after a successful career. And I'm happy to retire. My wife's in the audience, and I think she can tell you we have a place in Flagstaff. We spent our summers up there. But I think this is the most important election in my lifetime. And a lot of my friends come to me and they said, you know what? We don't need any more politicians going back to Washington, D.C. We need to send some people that have been successful business people. People that know how to make tough decisions. People that have made them in the past. And that's why I want to run in, in this uh, election. I really don't have the political aspirations most of the people up here have. And if I go back there, it will be for a limited number of years. You've heard a lot of people say there's things broken. There is. But we've got to get some people back there that have had a career at fixing things. And you have to stay focused. And the one thing I've done my whole career is I've been very successful at focusing on the correct target. And if you don't send people back there that can have that singular focus, there's so many things in Washington, D.C. that distract them and get them off track. $4.1 billion a day, that's what our national debt is growing at. We've got to do something now 
That's why I'm running now because this is a critical time and I'm really afraid that if we don't get it turned around real quick, that we're teetering on bankrupting this free country. Thank you.